is a case that truly shocked Houston, a teenager charged with killing his own parents. And now finally, after the latest two year delay, he is going to be in a courtroom tomorrow. Don and Antonio Armstrong were shot to death in their Southwest Houston home five years ago. In 2019, a jury could not decide if their son AJ really did it. So there was a mistrial. His retrial has been postponed over and over again because of COVID. And while he was out on bond living with his grandmother, AJ is 21 years old now. He's a new dad, in fact. Throughout his fight to prove his innocence, he has only spoken to one reporter on the record. Here's ABC 13's Courtney Fisher. What's going on with AJ Armstrong? Becoming a parent changes you, as they say. AJ welcomed a son nearly one year ago, Hendrix Antonio Armstrong, sharing a name with his father and grandfather, whom this baby will never meet. Hendrix is too little to know his dad is in the fight of his life, trying to stay out of prison to raise him. A different world from five years ago when AJ was 16, getting put in that police car hours after his mother and father were shot in the head. AJ, their youngest son, charged with pulling the trigger. I've seen him in some very dark, difficult times over the years. I've seen him go through a lot of stress, and now I see a rejuvenation, um, a happiness, a, a, a goal. To instill the same values in little Hendrix that AJ's parents instilled in him. That's the goal, AJ's attorney says. But to investigators, AJ murdered his parents because they came down hard on him over slipping grades, breaking curfew, smoking weed. Tension revealed over text messages in the April 2019 trial. That's how prosecutors see it. AJ's team dropped their own bombshell during the first trial, arguing AJ's older half-brother Josh, Dawn Armstrong's son, could be the real killer. But he was mentally unstable at the time, hearing voices. For the retrial, the defense plans to lean into the theory about the, quote, alternative perpetrator, asking to introduce new evidence in a pretrial hearing tomorrow. Some evidence we found since the last trial where, you know, a person indicates that they were present when the parents were murdered. So it's, it's very important. It's a really important hearing for us. It's a taste of hope. Werther's original limited edition Harvest Caramels. Discover the original fall flavor. That's right. The defense now saying someone else was there when Dawn and Antonio Sr. were murdered. Wouldn't say who when we pressed. Only this. There's some very important records that to us and I think to any reasonable person clearly show that AJ could not have committed these crimes. Also in tomorrow's hearing, we'll hear about the 22 pieces of evidence lost after trial one. Those items include AJ's cell phone, shell casings, DNA swabs, among other things. AJ's attorneys argue the text messages extracted from AJ's phone should not be allowed in retrial because the phone is gone. Last year, a spokesperson with the DA's office told Eyewitness News the lost evidence was in a bag mistaken for trash. Whatever happens tomorrow, retrial is finally set for January 2022. AJ will be 22 years old by then. You are a very different person at 22 than you are at 16 years old. Yeah, absolutely. He's gone from a, you know, a typical kind of immature 16 year old boy to he's become a man. While this case seems never ending, the defense believes that could be good for AJ. You know, memories fade, police officers get in trouble, witnesses get in trouble. So just a general statement for what I do, um, the longer that a case goes on, typically, you know, it's, it's better for us. It doesn't always mean that it is, but generally it is. So in this case, are you happy that it's gone on? Happy that we've had COVID and it's been pushed back so many times? Happy is not a word that I would use to describe it because you got to understand this is an enormous case with a lot of issues and uh, under a lot of scrutiny. So every time we have a trial date, we all have to prepare. So that's what AJ's team will spend the rest of 2021 doing, prepping for round two. Because two years is a long break. And though evidence doesn't change, relationships do. People do. Think about it. This time, if AJ's girlfriend takes the stand, it won't be as a teen defending her high school boyfriend. She's now a woman defending her son's father. For some, there's more to lose in round two.
AJ already lost his parents. A guilty verdict could mean losing a future with his new son. I'm Courtney. <laughs>